It's not me that Connor will get. Must definitely fight you. Hmm? Hmm. Must fight this Corona. Must sanitize our hands very well. I know some people are going to check me today, so I must definitely sanitize my hands. I hope you sanitize yours very, very well. <laughs> must touch it inside. No virus whatsoever will enter these hands as far as I have sanitized them. <clears throat> very well. Thank you. Good day, my fans out there. How are we going? How are we doing? How are we handling this corona situation? Please stay safe. We're getting some news every day. Some are real, some are fake. But whichever one you get, know that Corona is real. Corona has gone around the world. Corona is in Nigeria right now as I speak. Is your part of the country where you are? Even if it hasn't gotten to you, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't take precautions. Protect yourself. Stay safe. Corona is real. And don't forget to pray that God protects and removes this plague from us in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. So, my today's topic is on online dating. Yeah, online dating. What is it? What does it mean? It means a lot, it means different things to different people. But online dating simply means being in a relationship with someone you met online in any form of social media on Twitter, on Instagram. On Facebook, in any form of social media, you met someone, you became friends, you asked each other out, you start dating. That's what I mean by online dating. This online dating has advantages and it also has disadvantages. But from the way things go, most of the times the disadvantages outweigh the advantages. A lot of things are involved this online relationship especially if you don't take precautions if you don't dig deep to understand what it means to know what it should take for you to go through it and come out successfully so listen to the speech and see if you're going to gain something from it and as well adopt some ideas that may help you to run your online relationship and after listening to the speech also check to know whether you should continue with the one you are into already or you should drop it have you subscribed to my youtube channel please hit the red button there click on subscribe and subscribe to my channel watch my interesting talk show videos drop a nice comment if you have any idea towards which you can contribute to the topics we've been trading please go ahead to highly welcome if you have any question you want to ask drop onto the comment section if you want us to contribute or to handle any of the issues you're passing through the challenges in your relationship please don't hesitate to let us know we're going to help you bring in some of the ideas that might help you online doesn't don't mix it up with distant relationship these are two different things all together online dating i have told you somebody you met online you've not even met in person and you start dating you feel for each other have some feelings more affections for each other start relating this time you might as well meet on online but you have seen each other you know each other but you don't stay close you stay far from each other this is this type of relationship, which I said differs from online relationship. Yeah, but I want to treat online. This time, you know, the person, the person knows you. I don't know what the person does where he or she stays. <laughs> it's not the case here. It's left for you to do. But this is what we want to talk about today. Online that This person you've met online, you started dating the person. Have you ever tried in one way or the other? To see if you can know some things about this person other than what the person tells you online. Yeah, it's a question we should ask each other. Do you know that's what is called personality theft? This person, this face you see every day, the pictures you see posted on this person's wall may not be the true face of this person. Honestly, it happens. So, have you tried your best to see if you can do some things offline? 
to compare if this person you've been seeing online is the same face of this particular person in person. That's what I mean by personality theft. Yeah. Some people use some pictures that can attract to you. Some people use some stories that can attract to you that won't, you know, make in any way have a doubt. That won't make you regret. This is what you want. The pictures or the stories or some this person makes might be exactly what you want in a man or a woman you want to call you. So because you've seen this, you've seen this often, the person uses all this to entice you. Because of this, you want to jump into it. You want to die for it. You want nothing but this person. I'm not saying it's bad, but have you dug deep to say if all these things you're seeing online are just audio or real? Do you do video call? Have you tried to do a video call to compare the face you see online and the real face of this person you've been talking to? Hmm? Some people have even gone as far as picking dates for your wedding, for your marriage, for your introduction, without meeting, meeting each other in person. Go offline, try to know some friends, try to ask some questions about this person. Try to cancel some things this person has told you to know if truly all these things he or she has been telling you is real about him. And you know, I want to tell you a story of what just happened. A lady met a guy online on Facebook. So this guy stays in Abuja, the lady stays in Lagos. So they had a date. The, the, the lady was supposed to go and meet the guy in Abuja. The lady left without this guy sending Kobo to her. So she got to Abuja. Why she was on her way? She was calling this guy. Yeah, she was calling, I'm here. The guy was as well showing some concern, some love, you know, to monitor her movement, to know where she was at a particular moment. He kept monitoring her movement, not until she got to the park. When she got to the park, the lines were off, lo and behold. The lines of this guy were off. <laughs> so where does she go from here? She was at the park from the evening she got there till night. She started crying, started expressing herself. She had to tell people around the truth. Some good Samaritans had to allow her to sleep in one of the shops. So the next morning, they contributed money for her to package herself back to Lagos. <laughs> what is terrible. She met him online. She met him on Facebook. She went on a date to Abuja, all the way from Lagos to Abuja, to meet someone, a stranger to her, a total stranger to her. So she never even cared to ask this guy to send her money. But adventure, she gets there and never met this guy. So she can find her way back. This guy said, pay your way to Abuja. When you get there, I will pay you back. That was how she left without having money to bring her back in case she doesn't meet this guy. So she went with only the transport money that took her only for going. So at the park, these good Samaritans helped her, contributed money for her to package herself back to Lagos the next day. Her tears and her stories to today is that online dating is evil. Even some must have benefited from it. Yeah, some people have met their missing ribs online and it has worked for them. So of them are living happily in their different homes. This will met online. But that doesn't apply same in all cases. Check very well, scrutinize whatever you've seen, whatever he or she tells you to see how true it is before you could go ahead to meet this person. Besides, if you must meet, let it be in a public place. And guys are meant to look for ladies they have seen online. Not to you, a lady risking your life, trying to support yourself to a far distance to go and meet a guy you never met in person. Guys don't easily get scared of things like that. So a guy can even come down from America to Lagos to meet a lady he met online. He knows how to mingle his ways. He can lodge without knowing where he lodges. Meet at public places. Invite the guy, let him come over. Meet at public places like each way. So where, don't meet him in a hotel, please. Meet him where everybody walks around, people walk around, you know. So you can't easily get scared, no one can even harm you. The person can't even think of harming you, being the fact that you all are in the public, where all eyes are on you. Don't go in any hotel room with someone you don't know for the first time. 
click. I'm not saying every guy or lady you met online is fake, but be careful how you go to meet this person in a second place. Don't travel so far to meet someone like this it, it, by risking your life. You can imagine what could have happened to her if this good Samaritan on the bank back door and never cared to help her come back to Lagos. That's another story. There's this stranded um, man who claims he has a child and a mother. Right? Two of them live together with him. This guy is everywhere. He uses different pictures. He tricks ladies in the name of, I want to marry you. When he proposes online, this people are sent. He starts bringing his tricks, one trick or the other. You know? Sometimes he disguises him, same him speaks in the voice of the baby. Sometimes same him speaks in the voice of the mother and gives you phone to speak with this woman, to speak with the baby. The woman keeps saying, marry my son, he's a good son, he can't go abroad. The wife abandoned him there with the baby. Stories that, stories of the gods. Don't even succumb to this man. He's trending everywhere now. He has tricked many ladies. He has duped many ladies. He has scammed many ladies in the name of I want to marry you. Don't allow desperation to take your senses out of your reason over everything before you take action. Do you understand my fellow ladies? Even guys, some ladies you see online with some packages are not real. Dig deep Look for some other ways, especially offline, to check if all the stories of this person is true before you could go ahead to do what is called marriage. Marriage is not as simple as we think. Do we understand? Yeah, online dating. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm saying it has merits and as well has the merits. Merits submit these missing ribs. to get married, they live happily, you know. It's favor, it favors you. If it doesn't please, don't jump into danger. It can be so dangerous. When you don't know this person and you move in with your whole heart and body, tomorrow you start crying. You want to come out, maybe too late. Dig deep, okay? Offline, online, to know whether this person is real. Like I said, have you done video call? Have you tried to check some of the persons he has or she has as friends? Have you seen the kind of posts he or she makes? Have you tried to use all this to see if this person is what he or she claims he is? Don't fall for audio shows okay oh yeah it's not bad it's good but it can be so dangerous when you don't take the necessary steps before you go into it don't forget to subscribe don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel i have a page on facebook relationship clinic with lolo go there follow and like the page watch all my articles there all my videos read all the articles they are so helpful so love them do you understand? It helps. Go to my Instagram page, Relationship and Talent Clinic, and at one Laurentia. Go there. Follow me. Read my articles. Watch my videos. Comment. Like. Drop your questions if there is any. And your nice comments. Don't forget, I remain your girl, Lola. I'm always here for you. Stay safe. Be protective. Adopt all the protective measures. God will save us from coral. Corona, I feel you. That's it.